Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin remains in the ICU on a ventilator after going into cardiac arrest during Monday night football. His family says there has been some improvement as doctors work to get the 24 year old breathing on his own again. The NFL was able to act quickly on the field Monday, but would your child's league be able to do the same? News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how you can find out. And now another Bills player is down. Like the rest of the world, Dr. Alex Diamond's stomach dropped when Buffalo safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field. When you see it in real time, it, it's always uh, traumatic and, 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 and hits you for sure. But then was comforted to see the NFL immediately sprung into action. And they are intensely working on DeMar Hamlin. And that's because that's what he preaches to youth sports leagues. To have an emergency action plan. And what that is, is writing down uh, and thinking about every particular injury, illness, emergency that can occur and how you would respond to that. So much so, in 2018, he launched a program called Safe Star in partnership with the state that certifies sports leagues and school athletics programs based on how prepared they are for any emergency, including cardiac arrest. The bronze level is the, the minimum that we think anyone should have and really focuses on the things that are life and death issues. That includes making sure there are CPR certified personnel on the sidelines and AEDs readily available for practices and games. Silver and gold ratings take it several steps further. Schools as well as youth groups have had successful outcomes for possible tragedies for kids because they have been uh, Safe Stars programmed at that gold level, which has made a clear difference. Just six months ago, it became Tennessee law that all public schools must be at least bronze certified. Now Dr. Diamond is hoping youth sports leagues follow suit. So as a parent, I can look and say, what program do I want my child participating in? And if your child's league isn't on their list, Dr. Diamond hopes you'll speak up. And don't be afraid to, to push it. It's important. Um, no one's going to care more about those kids than, than you are. Because when the unthinkable happens, he hopes your child's league hasn't just thought about it, but is ready to act. We need to do better for our kids, um, and that's on everyone. We can't delegate responsibility. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. And if you'd like to see if your child's league is officially certified, you can check out the list on our website.